Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The Indian Navy currently operates 16 diesel attack conventional submarines which includes 5 Calvary class, 7 Sindhu Ghosh class and 4 Sushumar class of submarines. By 2024, one more Calvary class submarine will be added to Indian Navy's fleet. However, the majority of submarines operated by Navy to be precise, 11 out of 17 are crossing two decades of service. At the same time, India does not have any nuclear attack submarine or SSNs. The Indian Navy has to rely on its conventional submarines to hunt down Chinese nuclear submarines. The plan to lease INS Chakra 2 also seems to be in grim due to heavy sanctions imposed on Russia. Indian Navy's capability to patrol, deter, and keep Chinese underwater presence checked is limited. At the same time, China is equipping Pakistan with eight new Hangor class submarines slated to enter service by 2028. Additional of these submarines will take total count of Pakistan Navy's submarine to 12. The aging submarine fleet of Indian Navy. China's rising presence in Indian Ocean and Pakistan's rapidly modernizing submarine fleet are the three major challenges before India. The best option for India in the present geopolitical scenario is to accelerate its nuclear attack submarine program with assistance from France. Multiple reports have indicated that France is willing to deepen ties with India which further gained momentum post AUKUS deal. Stung by the financial losses of Australian contract and perceived backstabbing by its American ally, France is in a strong position to leverage its own nuclear submarine technology to India. In March 2023, France made an offer to India to jointly develop nuclear submarines. In March 2023, the Hindustan Times also reported that India is looking to upgrade its submarine fleet with three nuclear-powered conventional weapon-armed submarines in collaboration with France on the lines of latest 4,765-ton Barracuda-class submarine. The offer of Barracuda-class submarine has been on the table for discussion in December 2021 during French Defence Minister Florence Parley meeting with her Indian counterpart Rajnath Singh. As per the latest report from the Tribune, the prospects of France assisting India in developing and constructing six nuclear-powered general-purpose attack submarines or SSN for Indian Navy are believed to have brightened following a meeting between PM Narendra Modi and President Emmanuel Macron in New Delhi on the sidelines of the recently concluded G20 summit. Discussions between two leaders who were meeting for second time in last two months following Modi's July visit to Paris as chief guest at France Bastille Day Parade were centered on joint development, manufacture and testing of advanced military platforms and technologies. The French assistance for Indian Navy's continually deferred SSN program has been on the anvil and the hush-hush discussions over it is at an advanced stage. France has expressed its willingness to partner with the DRDO, Department of Atomic Energy, Indian Navy and related organizations in locally building six SSNs. The Indian Navy's SSN project was initially approved by government in early 2015 with the first such 6,000 ton boat scheduled for completion by 2032-33. India's quest for SSN as its core weapon to hunt ballistic missile submarine will only be fulfilled with external assistance. France can not only help India to build its first nuclear-powered attack submarine but can also assist the S-5 ballistic missile program with its propulsion technology. These projects are going to be a long-term development effort. If the deal is finalized, the first vessel may take between 10 to 15 years to come on board with Indian Navy. This was today's update. 
please let us know your views on this in comment section if you like the video do not forget to like share and subscribe with this i would like to say goodbye and jai hind we'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector